Welcome to Amy's Creative Corner. Today I'm really excited to be sharing with you Studio J Online Scrapbooking. It's fast, it's easy, and the best part is it's free. You don't have any software to download or purchase. It's simply a free online scrapbooking studio. So let's go ahead and get started. You'll want to begin at your um, the consultants homepage and if you don't have a consultant feel free to visit mine at amyulin.myctmh.com and when you get to your consultants website you will see on the left hand side Studio J online scrapbooking so go ahead and click that link and it will take you to the page that's all about Studio J. And um, scroll down a little bit and you will see the tagline Real Life, Real Scrapbooks, Real Time. And the beauty of Studio J, unlike some other online um, photo books and things that you may purchase, is that Studio J truly is a real scrapbook. When you put a Studio J layout in your scrapbook with your other scrapbook layouts, your friends and family are not going to know the difference. They are going to think that it is a classically created layout. The only way they'll be able to tell that it was done online was if they actually feel the page and realize, whoa, it looks dimensional, but it really isn't. And that's the only way they can tell the difference. So um, this is this is great for those of us that really, truly love scrapbooking because we want what we create online to fit into our our existing albums and it really does and the other thing that's really fantastic about Studio J is that it embraces the close to my heart philosophy of faster simpler easier it really is easy so let's go ahead and sign in if you are a returning user, meaning if you've ever um, logged into your consultant's web page or perhaps you've um, tried Studio J before, you can um, simply click the login button. You'll put your username and password in. If you're brand new to Studio J, go ahead and click on create an account and a page will come up that um, simply has you put in your customer account information and that will be your first and last name notice that your username is actually your email address and then a password and you can click on this need help with passwords and it simply just lets you know that your password needs to be at least six characters and that if you add numbers or other symbols that simply strengthens your password then as always you have to confirm it um, you may put your phone number if you choose it's not um, required and then you'll click on the I agree to the terms and conditions box and basically in the nut in a nutshell the terms and conditions simply say let me bring this up for you that um, defective products will be reprinted within 90 days but the key here is that user error is not covered in that so um, I'm gonna go over with you how to ensure that there is no user error uh, and just so that you know if you do ever decide to order that changes or cancellations aren't allowed after your order has been submitted the other thing that it says is simply that um, Close to My Heart holds the copyright to all the designs and images, um, but you hold the copyright to your photos. So it's also saying that you're agreeing that um, you have the right to upload and produce those photos. So for instance, if let's say you take your kids to a professional photographer, you just simply need to get that photographer's permission to upload the photos to use on your Studio J 
layout. And then the other key, obviously, is no pornography or images of violence um, because Close to My Heart reserves the right to not only um, not fulfill such an order with those images, but they could also close down your account. So uh, that's enough about that. So you simply click on I agree and then save my account. And once you've saved your account, the uh, will go back to this screen and here it will tell you that you're already logged in and go ahead and enter Studio J. So you simply click on that Enter Studio J button. And I have already logged in here.